Next one is going to be the body lean, right? Okay, yep. Bring out here. Yeah, I didn't bring them in yet. Okay. Are they over there in the bucket? Yeah. should be moving. Looney Bird doesn't have a body lean. Rolf leans forward, Duke leans back. Bats leans back, Beast Bear leans back. New blocks that don't have set screws in them. Yeah, now I wonder if they need set screws. If well, I don't know. It doesn't look They look like they're spacers. I don't know what they're even doing in there. They're not doing anything. Are you sure? Not as long as these are locked down because this spacer and this spacer set the slack this way. I wonder if we put those those in there or they put them in for some reason. No, no. Could be just a fail safe or something. Huh. Okay. I'm, now, I'd well, like to look inside my character and see if those are in my character. Maybe we should do that because I wondered if uh, you're supposed to push these together so there's no slack between the pillow blocks and these. Yeah. And then adjust this and this so that there's no movement, axial movement this way in the shaft. Uh huh. You see, there's a lot of slack right there. Yeah. But I, yet I could can't move that in and out. Right, because it's fastened somewhere, right? Maybe. I'm just wondering if there's something on the back. A set screw somewhere. There's a collar on the very back. Is that whole, that whole thing? There's a collar, right? Yeah. This whole back piece. Yeah. And then there's a collar there. There's that a set screw loose. in it right there. This one's loose. Yeah, but there's a set screw in that right there. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, now I wonder if what that goes down and into, because it couldn't go down into this bar, because that bar has to turn. Oh, wait a minute, it could, because that's what turns it. That's what that's what holds the bar. That's the drive. Yeah. Okay. You see, there's not enough slack in these holes here uh -huh. to move those... Uh, pillow box much. They probably don't need, probably doesn't even matter because if that set screw is in there and that holds, then that's not, that's going to not allow this thing to move at all in and out, right? I just picked up on that and tried to slide it and I never could, you see? Yeah. How come I can't move it all of a sudden? It's got air pressure on it. So if we turn the air off, it will slack. Yeah. I might as well pop that out anyway, right? Yeah. I'll close my eyes. Back. 
can't move it. You mean in and out? No, can't move it in and out. No. Now, I can see I couldn't pull it out much because of that, but see, you got slack there too. I don't know what's holding it in its position. Exactly. It looks like it ought to have about an eighth inch of slop in it. But that you should be able to move that yes, back and forth? Uh -huh. Is it pressed into these bearings? No, I don't think so. It wouldn't be that hard. Are you sure? Because those bearings, they need to... Now, it could be if that's tilted. If these are off kilter a little bit, uh -huh. they could be putting pressure on the shaft where it won't slide. Maybe next time I'll loosen those up a little bit and try that again. Okay, but, them loose. but I mean this rod, does that is that a press into this bearing? It should be slightly. Yeah. You should be able to move it in it, but it shouldn't have any slop. Uh-huh. But I don't, are these self-centering? If these are yeah. not self-centering, if they're not, then if I if I angled that a little bit when I tighten these down, it'll be grabbing the shaft and it won't slide. Yeah. And it might even bind. So maybe I'll revisit that. Okay. What about that? Is that, is that supposed to have a, a pin through it there? I think so. It's got a circlip on this side. Oh, it's got a clip on it? Yeah, and a pinhole. Then it might not be, need the pin. I think there's, there's a ball on the back side. Yeah, probably. The, the ring is just to pull it out, I think, with your finger. Ah, oh, okay. It's like a key ring. Uh huh. Just as a handle. should also be up. Mouth movement. All the characters should be adjusted the same. Okay, let's take a look at his mouth movement. His isn't working press valve number one. Okay. There's one. I don't feel anything on the valve. Okay, I saw you press something that made his mouth move. What was that? I don't know. There was a point that I saw his mouth move. Let me just go through them. It's number one. It's absolutely number one. 
further? What do you feel when you press it? Nothing. I don't feel any click. It doesn't click or anything? No, no resistance either. Okay, that's a typical valve that needs to be rebuilt. Uh-huh. There's number two. Okay. Well, uh, okay, so let's see. Number two is his arm swing. No, his head, it'll be his... You, you might be on the second valve bank. You see that number one, are you on the second valve bank? No, they're labeled one through uh, seven, 16. Yeah. One through 16. Number one is the mouth, and uh -huh. number two was his arm swing. This is two. That's terribly wrong. This is three. That's wrong. This is four. None of that's right. How, has all that been rebuilt? I don't know. Let me take a look at that. Maybe they've mislabeled it. Okay, let's go through that again. Okay. You press valve number one. Okay, here's valve one. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's a bad valve. Valve number two. Two. That's making his left his right arm swing, and I know that's not number two. How about number three? Okay, number three. No, that's see, and that's another arm movement. That should be further down the valve line. Okay, number four. Number four, nope. Number five. Five. Five doesn't do anything. That's the one that's leaking, I think. Okay, another bad one. Number six. Six. Yep, yeah, arm swing shouldn't be there. Seven. Seven. Okay, eight. That's wrong. Eight. Head tilt. Okay, number nine. I'm not sure yet what the right valve number should be, but we're going to find it in a minute. Nine. Okay, what's number ten? Ten. Okay, eleven. Eleven. Okay, twelve. Whoa, do that again? Oh my god, those are his eyes. Those should that's what should be number two. Number okay, thirteen. Fourteen. Whatever that is, that should be the other eyes the other way. That's broken. Number fourteen? Thirteen is the one that has the screw in the flow control. Okay, that shouldn't be. There's fourteen. An eyelid, that should be number three. Uh next one? Next one. Six fifteen. Okay, see that's another mistake. And what's the last one? Is there another one? And, that, and that's the mouth, huh? Okay, so they got the numbers going the wrong way on the manifold. One is 16. 16 is one. Yeah, let me see that for myself. Did they have just redone the numbers in Sharpie? Those, those look like the numbers we put on there in the early days. Okay, so that's the problem. But now why is that number back? I'm going to have to just check real quick yeah, sure. Go ahead. and see what, see what gives. And that last one that didn't work, the spongy one, that was, that was the uh, foot tap, I think. Open and close. Mouth movement. Mouth movement. All the characters should be adjusted the same. All the characters should be adjusted the same. Mouth movement. Open and close. Mouth movement. Lindy Bird's head should also be up. Mouth movement. All the characters should be adjusted the same. Wonderful, wonderful mouth movement. Open and close. Mouth movement. Mouth movement. 